There are plenty of reasons to have a planer in a guitar shop. Thickness in a bridge blank to size. Thickness in a fretboard. Dimensioning the lumber. Here I'm going to taper the back of this mahogany neck blank to be like a 1930s Gibson. Fat and chunky near the nut, taper into the tip. A planer is a great tool to have, but a lot of shops don't have the room for one, and they're expensive. This is the Stumac Safety Planer. It's a rotary planer that fits in your drill press. These cutters do the work. They can cut a path two and three quarters inches wide. They're recessed into the bottom of the tool. This is called a platen, so only five thousandths of the tooth sticks above that. That means once the work enters into the rotating cutter, it's held down by the platen. That's why we call it safety planer. And each cutter has two cutting edges, so when this gets too worn out, you loosen it, spin it around to the fresh edge, and you're in business. Extra cutters are available, too. I was always taught by a machinist friend of mine that when you put a drill bit or any tool into a drill chuck that you tighten all three sides and as you put the part in you give it a little twist as you're tightening. I'm going to thickness this rosewood bridge blank down to approximate bridge size and I can get two Martin style or Gibson out of that, the rectangular ones. If it's rough wood like this lay it down and see where it rocks. Take the least rocky side, that's this side, and lay that down. This is pretty good right there. I'm going to run half of it through flip it around and run half of it through and use a push stick. This little notch will catch the end of the bridge and let me shove it through and keep my fingers out of the way. There's a pretty smooth cut there and it's flat now. So I'll do the other side. Take five thousandths off of that and to do that I run it under and bring the platen down to the piece of wood. I know it'll start cutting at that point. You don't have to plane just flat surfaces with this planer. I want to put a taper on this, that old Gibson taper from fat to thin on the peg head. My difference from this end to that end is about a quarter of an inch. So I glued a quarter of an inch on the bottom lightly with super glue to shim it up. That way I have the same measurement to the pencil line and I'll plane right down to it. There's the tapered peg head. My table is uh, two half inch pieces of good quality plywood glued together and I've bolted it to the steel table from underneath. And this is my fence that pivots on one end so that you can do narrow and wide pieces. I could take a piece of spruce like this and make multiple passes. much wider than this, and then move it over. You get the idea. You can build a guitar with this. You can do the sides and the backs. The hole in the center of this fence is the diameter of the cutter. So I can bring that down, lock it in place, and run skinny parts through a little narrow pieces. This is a safety planner and it works great.